I was confident in the bike. We had already tested it, you know, pretty thoroughly. We'd abused that bike or bikes like it, but Greg LeMond racing your bike down a mountain, you know, is another story. I'm uh, pretty wide-eyed when it comes to materials. Wood and, and bamboo are the kind of things that I'm really impressed with because of how they grow. Bamboo is especially good because it absorbs vibration really well. Now carbon fiber also absorbs vibration, but not quite as well as bamboo. Well, we have wood. It's a handlebar carved out of redwood. Get our instruction manual, and you can go and cut some branches from your local softwood trees, and you can wrap your own frame out of wood. Here's a material from nature. Who designed this, and where did it come from? There's you know, millions of years of evolution of a shape and a structure and a material where the result of it failing means you don't get to mate. That's some serious motivation. Feels, it makes you feel tough, you know, like you can handle anything. I've been with the people from Envy since they were starting out rolling tubes. Very high-tech rims. I can tell you it's difficult to make a good rim. In the late 80s, people didn't really respect the carbon fiber very much. We got a lot of grief for building plastic bikes. It's a very strong fiber, and the fact that it's a fiber with strength in one direction is the secret to why carbon is so good. It's the fact that you can orient the fiber exactly in the direction that you want it to be stiff in. I think it was a phone call from Bob Lamont. He called and said, uh, well, we love the sample bike, and we'd like you to start building 18 of them. And the first thing I had to do was fly to France as soon as possible to measure the other bikes on the team. And Greg test rode that first bike you saw uh, for the first time while I was there. So I met him at the top and he said, hey, I'll meet you at the hotel. I'm gonna ride this down the other side of the hill and, and ride back to the hotel. And the head mechanic, Julian De Vries, was there and he kind of looked at me, you know, funny and said, is this bike safe? We can't afford Greg to crash on this descent but Greg wanted to see how it descended. We drove back to the hotel, waited for Greg to show up, and finally Greg rolled in with a huge smile on his face and just raved about the bike. Julian smiles and says, okay, Craig, you got it made now. And I felt at that moment that I'd finally accomplished something. The suspension road bike is something I've been talking about and building prototypes of for many years. I believe that it will be in every bike in the Tour de France one day. Bars really takes it to another level by adding a centimeter of travel. It's not just a vibration damping device, it actually adds traction features to your rear wheel. This one you really do feel it. I like to achieve a goal, let's say build a bamboo bike, and then build uh, an even better bamboo bike. And then how about maybe using this idea to help people in Africa? So you sort of build upon you know, what you've done in the past to go to the next level. And so I did, it was, it was like riding a bike for the first time. And you don't get to have that feeling very often.